Hello, g'day, and welcome to Scrap Mechanic. I am in my uh, creative world. I'm just about to jump on to this little contraption. What I've been trying to work out is from a radius point of view how the geometry of the circle needs to be and how exact it needs to be. So you can see there when I run across the, um, the track, red dot gives me the interior curve and the outer wheel is like the outside curve and then where should my track finish. So I'm just moving this out of the way so I can jump on my rail car that I've created. This is one that's ready for being an underslinged um, vehicle in uh, survival. And I was just trying to work out how much geometry they have. So on the tracks, my track actually has um, three widths. So behind me, you can see it's a block narrower. So what that does, this would be near your packing station where you need really accurate um, positioning. And then on my main straight track would be the extra width here. And then for cornering, um, I was trying to work out what sort of corners gave me the easiest um, rounding and the most um, you know, reliable way for forward and backwards. You can see that we move around a fair bit with this. You'll also notice that the vehicle is even and the tracks are odd. So I'll show you what that looks like. Um, so the vehicle is actually fully fully even, um, so it's actually made geometry easier, but the uh, linkage to make the pivot area where the, um, where the center line is, where the, the seat is, versus the bogies, um, I've actually built it um, with uh, pistons as well, sorry, I didn't have that in my hotbar, I'll just grab those. Uh, with a piston like this, bearing like this, and the um, bearings on the top. So that's actually what the um, what's up the top there, but with a narrow pipe, and it's all work cross welded to make it all work. So the actual pistons are what's allowing the um, the pivot to work because they've got a little bit of flex in them. So I'll show you what that looks like now that you've had an idea what it is. So right in the front there, I'll jump up on the seat and then give you a heads view. So you can see that the pistons and the, the bearings and underneath is the other bearings, which is the actual flexible joint. Got the same at the back. So when you are driving on the track, when it twists, you'll see you now make a bit more sense that in fact we've got a, an even um, bearing but what it wants to do is flick itself back to straight which is very handy for getting your vehicle to um, track straight away after a curve and it stops the, um, the bogies from trying to uh, sway and um, do that sort of stuff so it actually straightens up very quickly after a corner because they're under tension um, I hope that makes sense for everybody. So hopefully the next time you see this, I'll be hauling a whole train uh, worth of um, packing station bundles off to the farmer. Um, so yeah, so now that I've got my geometry on my corner sorted out, I can then work out the rest of my track pretty quickly. So um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. This is sort of, um, when you see some of the stuff that I've got, you realise that there's a lot of fiddle and trial and error in the background before it actually works. So catch you later. Thanks for watching.